I always imagined a moment when I had total clarity and peace about the sunset of my work. A moment when I'm certain I have helped preserve the ideals I so strongly believe. That day arrived today. The big story at 530 and around the country today, Kentucky's Mitch McConnell announcing he's leaving his powerful leadership role in the U.S. Senate. Through the years as he gained leadership, he has reshaped the U.S. Supreme Court and influenced presidents. He made the announcement on the Senate floor today. Aides say McConnell's announcement was unrelated to his health. The Kentucky senator had a concussion from a fall last fall and two public episodes where his face briefly froze while he was speaking. He's 82 years old, the longest serving Senate leader in history. He's going to be staying in his Senate seat, by the way, which is not up for re-election until 2026. Former Kentucky Republican uh, Chairman, Party Chairman Mac Brown is joining us live, also a friend of Mitch McConnell's. And Mac, give me your thoughts today when you heard the news. Uh, were you and can you explain the timing? Why November? Oh well, I mean, clearly he wants to do it after the election, or that's and that's when they're probably normal um, time to re-elect new leadership uh, in the Senate. So that, that makes all the sense in the world. Um, <clears throat> but you know, it was a surprise to everybody. I mean, Mitch is pretty good about keeping his cards close. Um, so um, we were surprised. Um, it's a little bit of a sad day, uh, to be very honest with you, um, but, you know, life goes on. So he says he plans to serve this term fully until 2027. What do you think? Is that realistic for him? Sure. Oh, absolutely. You know, he had that terrible concussion. Um, that fall was, was really, really hard. And, you know, I've learned that there's a lot of therapy that has to um, goes into recovery in that. And um, the spells he had earlier, um, earlier, um, I really think were because of that, and he might have pushed himself to come back a little quick. Um, but he, I, I can honestly say he had been recovering and getting stronger and stronger um, ever since. So I, I, it, I don't think it's related to his health. Following his comments over the decades, he's always really sad that he feels the U.S. Supreme Court makes more of an impact on our country than even the presidency. Do you think in the end that's going to be his legacy on how he's reshaped oh, the court? Absolutely. I mean, um, by um, the way he managed the whole Merrick Garland thing, um, that, re that I mean, it, it's affected history already. And it will be that it's not only the Supreme Court. I think there were something like 235 lifetime federal judges that um, were um, put in the court um, during his during his tenure. So I mean, he's he's had a huge effect on the judiciary. So many Senate leaders trying to fight their way to a presidency that never seemed to be his goal. Why do you think that was? Mitch was always. I mean, remember, it's the long game for Mitch, um, and. He truly wanted to move the ball forward. He, he didn't want to be president, I don't ever think. Um, but he loved the Senate, and he loved what he was doing, and he was good at it, and he knew it. Um, and we have to be excited for um, having had him there in a leadership role because he did not only so much for Kentucky, he did so much for the country um, in many, many ways. I mean, when there was a crisis, they always turned to Mitch and to help um, figure out what's the answer. So you believe Kentucky uh, benefited from his, when, when he rose into the powerful leadership positions especially? Oh yes, oh absolutely. I mean, when you get to my age, you begin to think back and you rem I remember when he ran for county judge and there was a question whether he was gonna win that. Um, and then when he won uh, the Senate in 84, um, that was exciting. He was one of the very few Republicans that won a, a race in 84. Um, because, you know, um, Reagan won, you know, people didn't like Reagan all that much at that point. Um, so he, he was one of the few, and um, thank God we had him. Well, Mac Brown, thank you very much. Former uh, chairman of the Kentucky Republican Party, thanks for your reflections on Mitch McConnell today. Absolutely. Good to be here.